Welcome to Planet Subaru, one of the largest Subaru showrooms in the world and the first powered entirely by the sun. Today we're comparing the all-new 2018 Subaru Crosstrek with the 2018 Subaru Forester. They're both considered compact SUVs, but even though they began life on very similar size platforms, the Forester is going to offer a lot more room because of the body that Subaru has built upon that platform. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Let's start with what they have in common. Both these Subarus come standard with all-wheel drive, as do all Subarus except the sporty BRZ. Ground clearance is an impressive 8.7 inches, which is considerably more than even some of the dedicated truck-based SUVs out there. Subaru first introduced the Crosstrek for the 2013 model year, and this all-new 2018 Crosstrek is the first Crosstrek built upon Subaru's new global platform, which is 40% more crash absorbent, and that extra rigidity is going to help with the handling too, noticeably if you compare it with the prior generation of this car. You can see in terms of size, it's just not going to swallow up as many people and as much cargo as the larger Forester, so we find that when when people have their first kid, they often trade in the Crosstrek on a Forester and Outback. We'll show you more about the interior room later. This 2018 Forester is the fifth year of Subaru's five-year product cycle on this car. To keep it fresh and competitive, last year Subaru made a host of interior and exterior changes, which kept the car competitive in this very challenging segment loaded with good options. You can read all about those changes at PlantSubaru.com or you can watch our video which explains the changes to those 2017 Foresters on our YouTube channel. Forester is about six inches longer and four inches taller. And those are significant increases over the Crosstrek and we're gonna feel those inside when we get there. You can tell in terms of appearance too, Forester has a little more of that classic two box SUV shape, whereas the Crosstrek's a little more athletic. Before we get to the engines, I just want to show you a little bit about the Subaru EyeSight system, which is available on both cars. It's a suite of driver assistance technologies, and the heart of it is these cameras on both sides of the rear view mirror. You can see those cameras on the Forester and the Crosstrek. There are many features to these systems, and on the upscale trims, they even include steering responsive headlights. I'll give you a brief primer on that next. The steering responsive headlights on EyeSight equipped cars respond to steering wheel input and pivot left and right as the steering wheel goes left and right so you can illuminate corners better. Without attaching a camera to the front of the car in motion, I can give you a little taste of what it looks like just when you start up the car, you get some movement that will show you the pivoting action. You can see that LED module turning a little bit, and that's what it does when you're driving down the road. Next to the engines, both come standard with four-cylinder, normally aspirated boxer engines. The Crosstrek is two liters, 152 horsepower. It returns 27 in the city and 33 in the highway. That's one better in both city and highway than the Forester. This is available with a six-speed transmission, if you'd like it. The Forester has 170 horsepower out of a much larger 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. It returns 26 in the city, 32 on the highway. It is also available with a six speed manual transmission if you like to row your own. And also available with a optional two liter twin scroll turbocharged four cylinder engine on the XT model that kicks out 250 horsepower. Now to the interior first of the Crosstrek. You can see that sporty theme extends to the interior with this orange contrast stitching, for example, on the seats and the steering wheel. It's not going to be as big inside as the Forester, although visibility is outstanding, in part because of these ingenious partition windows that Subaru put in there. You can see how Shorter drivers can see right by those big outdoor mirrors.
In terms of the sunroof, you get a standard size. It's optional. There's going to be a little more leg room in the Forester, and also more room for rear-facing infant child seats, which is what I referred to earlier when we see that when people have their first kid, we often see them trade in the Crosstrek on a Forester or an Outback. For a car that parks very easily in the city, and really isn't that big, Subaru got a lot of cargo area in the back of this Crosstrek and also did a nice job keeping that rear opening really wide so that you can stick big boxes in there. Now to the Forester interior. Similar functional ergonomic layout with a nice touch screen, just like the Crosstrek. Although only the Crosstrek for this year offers Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You can't get that on the 2018 Forester. You'll have to wait for the 2019 to get that. You can see a huge panoramic moonroof is standard on every Forester except the base. And those are the kinds of features that explain why the Forester is about $2,500 more. There's more standard equipment, and of course it's a larger and more luxurious vehicle. Here's the rear seats, which are a little better for rear passengers and for baby seats. When you look at all the glass from the outside, you can see why Consumer Reports rated the Forester as the number one vehicle in any class at any price for outward visibility. There's just so much greenhouse here and glass where many manufacturers put steel to get sculpted bodywork. Same partition windows that I described in the Crosstrek allow seeing past those generously sized rear mirrors. A power tailgate is optional on the Forester and not available on the Crosstrek. I'll show you how that works. And you can see why dog owners tend to prefer the Forester. It's quite a bit taller and even a large dog like our Greeter Blue can stand up in the cargo area without having to crouch. You can see also that the distance between the back of the seat and the front of the bumper is bigger in the Forester, and that extra height really helps to get stuff in there too. To compare them for yourself, please visit us at Planet Subaru here in Hanover, Massachusetts. Or if you'd like to learn more about these models, we have dedicated web pages for this comparison and many others at planetsubaru.com. Thanks for watching.